Praise the Lord. I greet you all in the matchless and highly exalted name of Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Hope you all are doing well and keeping safe. Today I would like to speak about the topic let history speak. For this I took an example of William Carey. Do you think that a cobbler can change the world? You need to believe that William Carey was born to mend the world. He who set his feet on Kolkata in the year 1793 did not return to his native land. He strived hard to the to do Lord's ministry for 40 years. That took exceedingly well problems and struggles and with his life his beloved wife suffered from mental disorder. His child too died of sickness. He turned trials into successes. He translated the Bible into Bengali language and published it. He was responsible for the publishing of Bible in several languages. He was responsible for translating the whole Bible in 20 languages and the New Testament in 40 languages. He was the one to bring the newspaper the stream engine to Asia. He also started saving bank and historical society post offices printing press ink pen here he wrote textbooks and books on grammar it was due to him many schools and orphanages was established he eradicated the social evils such as sati the practice of a young wife getting into fernal pyre on the event of her husband's death and child marriages with the government's help he was able to light up people's life william carey who was known as bengali's literary father and father of modern missionary movement started the serampore university which brought up thousands and thousands of students even today the university pans william carey's fame dear beloved are you ready to create history when we compare uh, william carey's life to our life expect greater things from god expect rarer things from god the words from william carey into when we go to potter sand we can ask lord use me the little one also in your ministry if you want to meditate this cha- uh, topic let history speak you can read first kings chapter 12 jeremiah chapter 38 mark chapter 12 thank you